Welcome to the video, I'm Mark Brown from Editors Keys and if you're into Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, consider subscribing to the channel because that's what we're all about. So this new auto reframing tool looks really interesting. So we thought instead of just staying here in the studio, we'd get out onto the streets of Manchester, film some people walking around, some traffic and some trams, just to see if we can trick or fool Premiere Pro and to see how effective this tool is. So let's jump out and do it now. So Adobe Premiere Pro CC has just been updated and there's one really cool feature that we're really interested in testing out and it's the auto reframe tool. Now if you've ever filmed a video and then wanted to reuse that video on Instagram stories, you'll know it can be quite time consuming to reframe the footage, to add loads of keyframes if the subject is moving about in frame. So this new tool should do all of that completely automatically. So we thought we'd get out on the streets, try and trick Premiere, try and give it a hard time by testing some shots that really throw it left and right within the frame to see how well this works. So let's get to it. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Deansgate, which is one of the main roads in Manchester, and we're going to film some traffic, some buses, some people walking around to see how well it works. Uh, Lewis is going to go around me now and we're going to see how well this auto reframing works. I think if it does work, it's going to be an absolute game changer because you know, we do videos, travel videos, and sometimes it can take hours to remake that entire video again for Instagram stories and things like that. So uh, we'll see how well this works. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be pretty perfect. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Deansgate, which is one of the main roads in Manchester, and we're going to film some traffic, some buses, some people walking around to see how well it works. Uh, Lewis is going to go around me now, and we're going to see how well this auto reframing works. I think if it does work, it's going to be an absolute game changer because, you know, we do videos, travel videos, and sometimes it can take hours to remake that entire video again for Instagram stories and things like that. So uh, we'll see how well this works. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be pretty perfect. So almost all the shots you've seen so far have been with uh, this gimbal. So just because our Sony A6400 doesn't have in-body stabilization, we're going to test it out now without the gimbal on to see if it affects stabilization too. So auto reframe is very, very simple and there are two ways to apply the effect. The first way is to simply drag the effect onto the clip. Now here's a shot of me walking and we wanted to see how auto reframe would work with a handheld shot rather than a gimbal to see if it was capable of completing the task without causing a warp effect, uh, a bit like what the warp stabilizer does when it doesn't work. So all you have to do is go over to your top panel and select new sequence. So say you want to also use this video for your Instagram story, it would be 1080 by 1920. You copy and paste your clip on the timeline, which is command C to copy, then command V to paste. Now you can see the clip framing is all over the place. I'm going in and out of frame constantly and this would usually take a lot of time with keyframing to get right. Usually it takes so much time, most people don't even bother. With auto reframe, you can just drag this effect onto the clip and it will analyze the clip. And there we go. 
I think it's worked really well considering it's quite a shaky shot. Now, if you look at the top here, you can see all of the keyframes that were added automatically. Now, how much time has that saved you? Now, let's try another common aspect ratio, which is the square 1080 by 1080 for Instagram, for example. Personally, I think it works best with this aspect ratio as you have a little more room to play with within your footage. My arm goes out of the frame on the Instagram story example, so keep in mind that some shots may not work as perfectly, depending on the shot and the focus and how shaky it is, all that kind of stuff. Now you can do some fine tuning to the effect. So for example, if you're doing a static interview, you can select for slower motion, and then scenes where there's a lot more movement or action, you can opt for faster motion and it should do a better job. I think default does a pretty good job and Adobe seems to pick a nice balance. Now, let's say you've already edited your sequence. Well, not to worry, you can actually apply the effect to the entire sequence. So let's say you have a final video that you want to post on YouTube, Instagram feed and on your Instagram story. All you have to do is go to the top panel, click sequence and go down to auto reframe sequence. Choose the options you'd like and then it will create a new sequence, analyzing each clip and auto adding keyframes. This is great considering that it's actually quite quick at doing it. This is gonna save so much time for creators who want to post the same video for every platform. We've tested this on a few different clips and we found that it doesn't always work perfectly for all clips. For example, in this clip of me moving the coffee cup from side to side, we wanted to see if the auto reframe followed the cup, but it seemed to still stay on my face even though the cup is perfectly in focus. So it seems it may not work for every single shot you do. So there we go. What did you think of our little test and the results there? I thought it was a bit hit and miss, but overall it's pretty good. If you're doing this regularly, you'll know it takes a lot of time to actually re-edit all of your footage. So this is gonna do about 80% of the work and you're still gonna need about another 20% to kind of move things around in frame and, and get that perfect um, kind of sequence set up. But overall, I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below and are you using this for your projects? Thanks for watching, and again, if you wanna see more videos just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe and smash that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.